Hello and welcome to CVR English. I'm Zinnat and these are the top updates. British Prime Minister Rishi Sonak finds himself embolstered in a new conflict of interest row ahead of his visit to India for the G20 summit next month over allegations that his family would financially benefit from a post-Brexit trade deal which is currently being negotiated by the two countries. Since this year, both India and the UK have been negotiating to implement a free trade deal. Trade experts and parliamentarians have raised concerns over potential transparency issues related to Sonak's wife Akshata Murthy's shareholdings worth nearly 500 million. In Infosys, the Bangalore Passat based IT company founded by her father Anna Narayana Murthy in May. Infosys was valued at about 63 billion. Most of the enormous wealth accumulated by Sonak and his wife comes from this IT firm. Infosys, which has had contracts with the UK government and companies there, is keen to improve access to the European country for its thousands of contract workers through changes in the UK visa regime. The Observe, the sister publication of the Guardian, reported for the proposed trade deal granting visas to workers in sectors such as IT and artificial intelligence in a key intent demand in talks over the pact. The UK, on the other hand, wants a slash in high trips on Indian goods exports, including cars and scotch whiskey. The opposition Labour Party demanded that Sonak should be more open and transparent in revealing his wife's financial interests amid concern that enforcers could benefit for, from the prospective trade deal. One expert said the British Prime Minister should rescue himself from the trade talks altogether. Russian President Vladimir Putin breaks his silence on the planned crash a day earlier that reportedly killed mercenary boss Yevgensi Prig Prigozhin and other senior members of the Wagner parliamentary group. I have known Yevgensi Prigozhin for a very long time, since the early 1990s. Putin says he was a man of complicated fat and he made serious mistakes in his life, but he achieved the right results. Vladimir Putin signed a decree making it mandatory for private military constructions like the Wagner Masonry Group to sign an oath of allegiance to the Russia state.
своим долгом почтить память погибших в авиакатастрофе. Считаю своим долгом почтить память своего земляка, героя России Евгения Викторовича Пригожина. Я считаю, этот человек очень достойный. Человек очень много сделал для имиджа России, для успехов на полях СВО. Поэтому я здесь сегодня. Поэтому покой Господи его. Это отразится не только на эффективности, но и на всем, в том числе личные контакты Пригожина и остальных командиров, которые они имеют в Африке и во всем мире. Новые контакты наложить получится ли так же или в той же мере, это вопрос. своим долгом почтить память погибших в авиакатастрофе. Я считаю своим долгом почтить память своего земляка, героя России Евгения Викторовича Пригожина. Я считаю, этот человек очень достойный. Человек очень много сделал для имиджа России, для успехов на полях и слова. Поэтому я здесь сегодня. Поэтому покой Господи его. Это отразится не только на эффективности, но и на всем, в том числе личные контакты Пригожина и остальных командиров, которые они имеют в Африке и во всем мире. Новые контакты наложить, получится ли так же или в той же мере, это вопрос. NASA and SpaceX Dragon spacecraft blast off to the International Space Station. Carrying four astronauts, the Crew-7 mission is commanded by American Jasmine Magapelli and includes Andres Mogensen of Denmark, Stoshi Furukawa of Japan and Konstantin Borisov to Russia. They will spend six months on the station conducting a variety of experiments. Endurance ascends an international crew Copy, destined for the International Space Station. Stage one That's propulsion 1 is million. nominal. Good calls from the propulsion officers here. Propulsion is nominal. Nominal power and telemetry. We've got in, uh, engine chill on the second stage MVAC engine. We will then be looking for MECO or main engine cutoff Space aircraft where? and our first look at the crew inside. And this off. Go Falcon, go Dragon, go Crew 7. Endurance ascends an international crew Copy, destined for the International Space Station. Stage one That's propulsion 1 is nominal. Million. 
good calls from the propulsion officers here. Propulsion's nominal. Nominal power and telemetry. We've got in, uh, engine chill on the second stage MVAC engine. We will then be looking for Miko, our main engine cutoff Space aircraft, and our first look at the crew inside. And this off. Go Falcon, go Dragon, go Crew 7. Endurance ascends an international crew Copy, destined Alpha. for the International Space Station. Protesters gathered outside the Spanish Football Federation headquarters to demand the resignation of President Luis Rubiales. He is under fire for grabbing player Jenny Hermoso's head and kissing her on the lips after Spain's Women's World Cup victory. Trasladamos todo nuestro apoyo a Jennifer Hermoso. Ya no te vas, te echaremos. Rubiales de misión. 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 Fuera de juego. Rubiales mafioso de San Juan Baboso. Trasladamos todo nuestro apoyo. Is a white man wearing a mask shot and killed three black persons in a store in Florida. In the south of the United States, the man who is believed to be in his 20s but has not yet been identified entered the Dollar General store armed with a handgun and an assault style rifle while wearing body armor. According to the Sheriff's office in Jacksonville, a gunman who killed three people at a store in Florida's Jacksonville had a gun with Nazi symbols and authored a manifesto that said he hated black people. Police said on Saturday, describing the incident as a racially motivated attack. The victims, two men and a woman, all black were shot dead by the shooter. A white man who was in his 20s before turning the gun on himself, the shooter who was unidentified, was seen lurking around a local black college before the shooting. He also posted several manifestos online for the media. His parents and law enforcement detailing his hatred for the black people. Jackson Ville, Sheriff T.K. Waters told a press conference that the gunman was wearing a tactical vest and he had acted alone.
Donald Trump remains far and away the front runner for the Republican presidential nomination. But his standing with independent voters is another matter, one that might make or break his chances in the general election. for the Republican presidential nomination. That fact was confirmed in a Reuters Ipsos poll released Friday, which showed the former president with 52 percent support among Republican respondents, almost 40 points ahead of his closest rival. But his standing with independent voters is another matter, one that might make or break his chances in the general election. So my name is Mark Clark. I live in Arizona. Uh, I'm basically an independent voter. I voted for Trump in 2016, and I won't vote for him in the future if he is the nominee. Reuters spoke to self-identified independent voters in the crucial swing state of Arizona, which Democratic candidate Joe Biden snatched from Trump by a razor-thin margin in 2020. If Trump wants to take back the White House in 2024, he needs to win back independent voters here. But some, such as 77-year-old Mark Clark, tell Reuters Trump's false claims about the last election, a rigged election make them less likely to support him in the next one. Based upon all the evidence that we see, he's delusional. And I don't want to give anyone who has delusional uh, characteristics uh, four more years of presidency. Independents are now the biggest voting bloc in Arizona outnumbering Republicans and Democrats, according to data released last month by the Arizona Secretary of State. Reuters spoke to 15 independent voters in Arizona about Trump's arrest in Georgia on Thursday, and only one said they would likely support Trump next November. That voter said the Georgia indictment is, quote, a political hit job. But more often, they sound like Carolyn Van Oosten of Phoenix. So I have voted for Republican candidates, but also for Democratic candidates. And at this point in time, I cannot see myself ever voting for Donald Trump. And, why? and that's because he just is mocking our country and he's mocking our systems. The Georgia election, I think, encapsulates everything about him, that he tried to do a power grab. That's Maureen Wood, an independent voter who's worked at the polls. She expressed sympathy for other poll workers who were, quote, terrorized by Trump supporters after he claimed there was fraudulent behavior. Others were repulsed by Trump's alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election and what they see as his role in instigating the January 6, 2021 assault on the U.S. Capitol by his supporters. A Trump spokesman did not comment on what he described as a small, unscientific sample of independent voters political strategist told Reuters that while the latest indictment will help Trump solidify support within his base and win the Republican nomination, his ability to... Protesters gathered in Seoul to demand that South Korea take steps to avoid what they fear is a looming disaster from Japan's release of treated radioactive water from the Rukushima nuclear power plant. FIFA suspended Spanish Federation chief Luis Rubiales from all soccer related activities for three months as it investigated allegations for an unwanted kiss on the lips of player Jenny. Hermoso after Spain won the Women's World Cup. 
world body FIFA said on Saturday it had suspended Spanish Federation chief Luis Rubiales from all football-related activities for three months. That's while it investigates an incident in which he kissed player Jenny Hermoso on the lips after Spain's Women's World Cup victory. The suspension from national and international activities takes effect immediately from Saturday. Just 24 hours earlier, Rubiales had been defiant over the kiss, arguing it was consensual and repeatedly saying that he would not resign. No voy a dimitir. Adding that what he called false feminists were, quote, trying to kill me. The kiss has been condemned as unwanted by Hermoso, her teammates and the Spanish government. Earlier on Saturday, the federation he heads said it would stick by him. However, after FIFA's decision was announced, a spokesperson for the Royal Spanish Football Federation said it respected all FIFA's pronouncements. In a statement hours before the FIFA move, the federation had said it would show there have been lies told about what happened by Hermoso or people speaking for her. Hermoso said she did not consent to the kiss and felt, quote, vulnerable and the victim of an aggression. The Spanish government cannot fire Rubiales, but has strongly denounced his actions and said on Friday it was seeking to get him suspended. The Spain women's team has also mutinied, saying they would not play internationals while Rubiales remains head of the federation. Soccer's ruling world body FIFA said on Saturday it had suspended Spanish Federation chief. China's authorities will struggle to attract foreign investors to its equities without more economic stimulation. The MSCI China index fell 1.3% further after Friday's closing. Country Gardens Holding, China's biggest developer, previously topped August losses with a 49% decline on concerns it may default on its dollar debt. Global funds have removed roughly 11 billion from the mainland market in a 13-day run though Wednesday the longest since 2016 after beginning the year well morgan stanley and goldman sachs group lowered their targets on chinese equities last week 0.3 percent further after friday's closing the msci china index fell 11 percent last month its worst performance since october the country gardens holding China's biggest developer previously topped August losses with a 49% decline on concerns that it may default on its dollar debt. The global funds have removed roughly $11 billion from the mainland market in a 13-day run through Wednesday, the longest since Bloomberg started monitoring the data in 2016. And after beginning the year well, Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs Group lowered their targets on Chinese equities last week. Despite senior officials are pledging pro-growth initiatives at the Politburo meeting on July 24th, nothing has been done to combat the slowdown as of now. And that highlights Chinese President Xi Jinping's desire to abandon his predecessor's debt fueled development paradigm. The latest economic data is gloomy. The bank loans fell to a 14-year low in July. The economy is in deflation and exports fell. Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan Chase and Barclays now expect China to miss a government-set growth target of 5% for 2023, a far cry from last spring's cautious outlook. Chinese stock and the currencies are at their worst against the U.S. counterparts since 2007. The Chinese government bonds have gained due to a flight to safety and softer monetary policy, widening the yield discount on two-year notes against treasuries to its biggest since 2006. X fell 1.3% further after Friday's closing. The MSCI China index fell 11% last month, its worst performance since October. The country gardens holding China's biggest developer previously topped August losses with a 49% decline on concerns that it may default on its dollar debt. The global funds have removed roughly $11 billion from the mainland market in a 13-day run through Wednesday, the longest since Bloomberg started monitoring the data in 2016. And after beginning the year well, Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs Group lowered their targets on Chinese equities last week. 
despite senior officials pledging pro-growth initiatives at the Politburo meeting on July 24th. Nothing has been done to combat the slowdown as of now. And that highlights Chinese President Xi Jinping's desire to abandon his predecessor's debt fueled development paradigm. The news that Kaja Kalas has spent on a portion of a businesses that has continued to operate in Russia since Moscow invaded Ukraine put her under pressure to quit. Companies to stop doing business with Russia after its Ukraine invasion. Ever since the war began, she has said that there must be no business with Russia. The Prime Minister's husband, Arvo Halek, responded to this and said that he would sell his 25% stake in Stark Logistics, a trucking company that works with an Estonian company involved in Russia. He also said that he would resign as the company's chief financial officer and step down from the board. Halek insists that his wife is not aware of his business activities. Estonia's internal security service has also confirmed that companies related to the Prime Minister's husband had not violated any sanctions. Estonia's Prime Minister is not the only high-level politician who has faced flack for being involved in Russian businesses. Even President Joe Biden's son Hunter Biden is being accused of receiving millions from the oligarchs in Russia and Kazakhstan when Joe Biden was vice president time and again urged all EU companies to stop doing business with Russia after its Ukraine invasion. Ever since the war began, she has said that there must be no business with Russia. The Prime Minister's husband, Arvo Halek, responded to this and said that he would sell his 25% stake. Well, that was the wrap-up bulletin. For more news and updates, keep watching CVR English.